Hello friends, this is Praveen. Welcome to ITS Workshop. In this video, I would like to discuss about HBS installation on CentOS 7. So I have got CentOS 7 version and in last video we saw how to install Hadoop on CentOS. So if you are directly coming to this video and you don't have Hadoop installation, so please go to my previous video and check how to install Hadoop because installation of HBase requires Java and Hadoop to be installed on your system. HBase is Hadoop database and for detail we'll discuss later. Right now we just want to see the installation process. So first step is we need to install Java and Hadoop. Let us check whether we have this. So I gave this JPS command. I just started my Hadoop services. This is how I started, and then I check node manager, name node, data node, secondary name node, resource manager. These day one process are running. So it means Hadoop is up and running right now. And obviously, if Hadoop is up and running, we have. Java also, so this is the Java version. We have Java also, so first step is done. We have Java, we have Hadoop. Now the second step is you need to download HBase. So you can go to apache.org. You can copy this link. I'll provide this link in video description. You can follow the link. You come to apache.org and then you'll find various mirrors here you can go to stable release so I'll, i'm choosing 1.2.4 this is the latest one and this binary file you need to download so whether you download directly or you just give wcat we you can copy this so i have already downloaded this HBase 1.2.4 bin tar file will proceed with that. So if I give ls, you can save this command. You can save this directory HBase. And now the next step is we need to unzip this, or you can say untar this file xfg. So just untying this file. Now if you give ls again, you will find this HBase directory. Now the next step is I want to move HBase, all contents of HBase into just simple HBase. So you can give this command or it's like renaming of your folder. We give ls again. You can see we have plain directory only HBase. Now the next step is you need to edit some configuration file. So we are mainly inter interested with three files. First bash rc you need to set your path variables second file hbase environment.sh in this file you need to provide your java home and third file hbase site.xml here we need to provide some couple of properties like root directory and which host we are using whether distributed mode or single node you'll see these properties so first step we need to set bash rc so before setting bash rc we just check our java configuration which we are using so you give update alternative config java there are three java versions of this machine 1.6 1.7 and 1.8 i am using 1.8 we are just interested in this path user library jvm so everything before JRE is your Java home path. So you just copy this 
and you put somewhere just paste it we need to provide this path so just put it and here you can say to a problem so we got the java config path now open your bash so vi bash and here you can see these are the variables which we set in last video during hadoop installation now you need to provide this configuration for hbase variables so only two variables we are setting here first one hbase home second one we are setting path for bin directory so my home is home for hbase is home username prev then directory hbase and this home contains bin directory we are setting this path so you just save this wq then you need to make it working or permanent so you just give source source bash rc so source after you give source bash rc then only these changes will be reflected in your system so now those path variables are set and you can access that so we have set bash rc these are the variables which we just provided next step is we need to provide java home variable in hbase environment.sh so you just copy this file location paste it so opening this hbase environment.sh pi editor here you can find java home so this is my java home and it has got some different path we need to provide the correct path which we want to use so we just copy this path we just check this path for 1.7 in last step now we need to provide this path here so export java home then this java home java 1.7 path now you give escape w q exclamatory and it is saved so we have provided java home next step you need to edit hbase site.xml now hbase site.xml is your main configuration file and through this file you you can edit you can have your hbase in two different modes first one standalone mode and second one pseudo distributed mode so in this video we just want to see how to install in standalone mode so just open your vi using vi we are opening hbase site.xml just open this here you can find configuration tag for standalone mode we just need to provide these two properties first property says hbase root directory so root directory we are giving local file path now this is my home username and this is hadoop store so you can see hadoop store is the directory which we created in last video during hadoop installation and we provided space we provide directories for data node and name node so in this same directory i would like to provide space for hbase and jukeeper directory so i'm just giving this path hadoop store hbase h files then hadoop store jukeeper so these are the two properties we just need to set you copy this you come to configuration insert and configuration 
have root directory is given and data directory is given escape and you just save it so now hbase environment.sh is set hbase site.xml is set so basically we are done with hadoop uh, hbase installation in standalone mode now we just need to verify whether it was successful or not so you just copy this command start hyphen hbase dot sh so once you give this command it should start your master node so you just check jps so in jps you can see last time we were getting only these things and now we have hmaster also it means hmaster daemon process is running and in order to verify we have verified with jps now if we do if we want to access hbase shell so you just give hbase shell and it should connect you with hbase shell where you can provide hbase commands so let us check with one command is list which is used for listing all the existing tables now there is no table and this command is successful and we can successfully run hbase shell so just next step you can see uh, the GUI part so we have GUI on local host 16010 you copy this and you provide this address so here we go uh, this is apache hbase gui part so it means it is running and it will give you all the information table details local logs log level dump hbase configuration all this information you can find here so this is gui browser gui for hbase interaction so now we are good so it means we can access through command line we can access to this GUI it means our HBase is in a standalone mode installation is successful so if you like this video please click on like button subscribe to this channel for more videos like this thanks for watching